Hello boys and girls, my name is Ryan and welcome to our how to install Minimator on my computer video. Now Minimator is a free animation software specifically geared towards Minecraft lovers. The goal of this video is to show you two things. One, how to correctly install the Minimator software. And two, how to transfer files from your USB drive to your computer. Now without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's get started. Now, before we can even install Minimator, we need to first download it, right? So that's what we're going to do. We are going to open up our favorite search engine, and we are going to type in Minimator. And the link we're looking for is going to be this very first one right here, Minimator Stuff by David. We're going to click on that, and it's going to take us to the developer's webpage. And here, you can find some really cool information about the software itself, as well as uh, a little showcase video of what the software can do. Uh, a quick note to parents, Minimator is available to everyone. So this means you may come across some slightly more violent videos or animations created by other people around the world. For example, uh, you can see that this little video right here includes a gun. Um, now here at C3, we do not include any weapons outside of your standard Minecraft sword or pickaxe, um, you know, that you that you would see inside of the game anyway. So just wanted to mention that really quick for those of you who are curious. But the link, the button that we're looking for is going to be down here. Download Minimator.zip. Now another note, uh, before we before we click on this little little button right here, uh, clicking on this link will open up an adf.l Y page. Um, not sure what the official pronunciation is, but I call it an adfly page, and it's essentially how the developer makes money, similar to other ads on the internet. Um, I actually have a software called AdBlock installed on my computer, which act which will actively hide the ad and only leave the button I want revealed. So, uh, another quick warning before we click on this button right here. So we're gonna click on this button. And here's that white page I mentioned earlier. Um, if you don't have Adblock, you may see an ad right here, but we're gonna actually be looking for this giant yellow button right here. And it may take five seconds to uh, reveal itself, but we're gonna wait for that and we're gonna click on it when it's there. You can kind of see this little hand and is that number two? And that number two right there, uh, it actually hid this ad right here. So, we're going to wait for that to download, and when it's done downloading, it's going to appear here on the bottom left, minimator.zip. So let's go ahead and open up that file, and we are going to see it right here. All right, now before we can use this file, we need to extract it. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on that zip file, and we are going to click Extract All. All right. Now, before I extract it, take a note of where you're extracting it. For me, and for a lot of uh, a lot of you out there, it will almost always default to C users name of your computer downloads and then Mindmater. So when you take a note of that, we're going to click on extract. We're going to wait for it to do its thing, and it should automatically open up the software or at least the uh, location, the folder where it's located. So to make things easier, we're going to create a shortcut. So let me actually go back a step. We're gonna left click and open up this folder. And this is the actual software itself, the actual uh, launcher. So we're going to right click on this little launcher. We're gonna click on send to desktop, create shortcut. So now, if I go to my desktop, we'll see Minimator right here uh, for quick and easy access. So I'm gonna click click on that, and you should see Minimator pop up and be ready and good to go. Uh, now, now that we have Minecraft, or not Minecraft, Minimator installed, we can go ahead and start transferring files and other animations. So let's go ahead and do that next.